Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today. We're back in Winfill Zoo. This is our brand new franchise series that we have had going on for a few weeks. And I have it paused here at the beginning because we unfortunately have some company that we're gonna have to deal with. And I don't want them to get any further into the zoo before I figure out why they're here and what we can do about it. So for now we are paused, but let's talk for just a minute because I wanna go over my plan. I have had a few weeks off from building in this zoo and I've come back with some ideas. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is our little Arctic Fox. You guys had a fantastic idea of just kind of making a little opening into this building here and making that their inside area where they can go inside, get warm, you know, have their little shelter, whatever that they need. Uh, and that might uh, satisfy their space requirement because right now with just three of these guys in here, let me bring up the menu. Uh, we have some need for some more space. They only have about half the space that they need. Uh, so hopefully that will give them enough space. Otherwise we're going to have to figure it out. So that is plan one. Plan two is I actually do want to combine these buildings and make them all one and maybe put another pitched roof going this way with some details and stuff like that just to make it look a little bit more um, for whatever reason, the only word that comes to mind is beefy. <laughs> and that's not a very accurate word to describe this building, but yeah, sure. We'll go with it. A more beefy building up in here. Uh, some more detail, more stuff like that. Next we have obviously our reindeer, our caribou here in this exhibit. And what I thought might be cool is if we make a little hoofstock like compound, I guess, again, wow, this is going to be the episode of weird adjectives, isn't it? So another little little uh, compound over here for our hoofstock, maybe putting a building back over here and having hoofstock enclosures wrap around it so that when you look at it from above, one of the main first loops of the zoo would come out this way and around and connect to this. And we can have maybe caribou here, alpine ibex, um, doll sheep, what else uh, is kind of taiga, alpine-y, but also hoofstock? Because I don't really want to include the uh, like gazelle or anything like that. Like I want to stay away from African animals. Oh, the follow deer, we could do that one. So you know what I mean? Just kind of a, a circle out here and we'll make them all kind of um, where this up here is higher and they're all sloped downward. So what I might even do is expand this back out a little bit because as you can see, the slope on this habitat is really not a lot. In fact, I would say it's it's not it's not really sloped. We can do better. We can do much better than that. Um, and I also want to add some water in the front here so we could potentially have maybe like a little river water system going around or um, something like that. And then the other thing that I want to do is in between these rock walls create like um, little hatch gates and things so that theoretically the keepers could move the hoof stock around. So like this could be caribou one year and and then they kind of rotate everybody around just to get the animals variety or move things around so that people, you know, that they come to see the caribou, but they're not here anymore. They got to walk around here to see them, things like that. So that is my overall plan that I want to start on today because I do want to add a new animal. So I'm thinking that um, maybe the follow deer would be a good one to go right next to, to this. So kind of work on that. They're all going to work, look really similar in the sense they're all going to have this kind of front um, front facing double fence here with the rocks and then the rock backdrop because my idea is that this kind of compound area would have been built all together, right? They would have said, okay, this is where we want to keep a lot of our hoof stock. This is where we're going to put them. Um, and I want to run with that because in most zoos, yes, things are organized by region or area that they live, but they also pay a lot of attention to keeping certain animal types together. Whereas hoofstock all have similar care requirements. So they'd have kind of like a hoofstock area, things like that. So I kind of want to replicate that as well. So let me know what you think. I wanted to get that plan kind of out there right away so that you guys have a chance to uh, give me some feedback and let me know what you think. And uh, suggestions, of course, are always welcome down below. And before we get into actually tackling this disaster, I mean, I say disaster, but it's only two, three, four 
uh, four, two, four, five little notifications over there that we have to deal with. Uh, do remember that if you are enjoying this content, leaving me a like really, really does help me out and I greatly do appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, that'll make sure that you don't miss out and you can keep up on Winfield Zoo as well as any other Planet Zoo related content uh, that we get ourselves into. So without unpausing, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and see, okay, good. See, one of these is a, is a good notification and apologies as a super, super professional YouTuber, I have forgotten to turn my phone off. <laughs> so now it's off and it hopefully should leave us alone. But we've got research on the caribou or the reindeer uh, already. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. That's not a bad notification either. Let's figure out why the heck animal is stressed, animal welfare has attracted protesters. Okay, so that is why our little friends are here. Let's see how easy I can do this without having to do it in a speed build. Can I not have this tree, please? I want this building, yes. So if we take this away, yes, take that away, we're going to have to rotate um, and adjust the path here so that the entrance is, oh, don't do that. I don't want it to be rounded right there. I guess, oh, 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 I guess we can live with it for now. Um, yeah, I guess we can live with it for now. So how am I gonna do this? Hopefully this doesn't freak them out too much. I mean, I'm worried that it will, but I guess we'll just have to deal with it. If we build off this and we bring, bring a little fence, shorten this down so it's inside this building, and we'll bring it around this way to the other side of the building, and then we'll kind of connect it up with that, then we can kind of move those around as we need. But if we delete that, delete that, delete that, and delete that, that's what I'm worried. Yeah, habitat has become invalid. So it's probably going to upset them a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now so that we can get this and make sure that it's facing the right way. I want it the right way around. Ooh, there we go. So like, that, what just happened? Oh, okay, there we go, perfect. That way, and then if we move this forward just a bit, oh, the pathing is gonna be all messed up. Okay, well, maybe it's time for some custom pathing. <laughs> I really don't want to, but I also really, uh, you know, we can put a planter next to there, that's okay. It'll give it a little bit more, a little bit more difference, I guess. I mean, I do like the whole square thing, but you know, that's all right. Okay. So that is that now let's check if I hit play and we go to see our little map here. Let's see. Yes, they can get in, they can escape, but that's okay. Are you, are you happier with that is my question. Yes. Okay. Space a hundred percent is perfect. So pause it again. Let's make sure we get, oh, I guess I can delete this too. Is that actually, yeah, we can delete that. We can delete that. We can delete that. We could probably delete all of this. Honestly left it in because I didn't think we were gonna do anything in here, but now that that is not the case, looks like it has to go. Um, and then this should hopefully be just really easy, yeah, to just kind of move this out out to the outside. There we go. Perfect. And that should also, I don't actually know what their hard shelter requirement was like. Um, but if it wasn't good before, it's fantastic now. So I'm going to leave it like that. Let's hit play and hopefully see if we can get these protesters to go away because they're, um, hopefully where'd they go? What is happening here? Oh, this is, this is my fault, huh? Is this because I accidentally let the Arctic foxes go for like a second? We're that dramatic and we're gonna freak out. Where are you going, sir? Oh, he's gonna like make his stance right there. I can't move him for whatever reason. Oh well, well, we'll let him protest all by himself. Let's see. Uh, many guests think tickets are underpriced. We'll deal with that in a minute. Oh, animal welfare has attracted protesters, but yep, that should go away. Vet surgery needed, not just yet, game. Thank you very much. What did we win? We have guest numbers, fantastic. So we got that, that's perfect. Let's adjust our price on our zoo. Let's go maybe $5. Let's see if they like $5. 
I do find it funny that the guests complain that they're not paying enough. Like, never once have I ever walked into a place and been like, hey, hey you, this should be more expensive. I'm unsatisfied with the little amount of money that I had to pay for uh, to get in here. Now we need to fix all of this again because we still want people to be getting their education. Perfect. And is this floating? Why? Is that floating last time? Why is it floating? I don't remember having it be floating. Um, here, I want it on this one actually. I want it up a little bit and I want it... Actually, do I even want it on that one? I want it tilted a bit. So if we put it on this front one, it will make sense. I do want to do some more custom signage for this uh, zoo as well. But if we do this kind of thing and put it on the front railing, there we go. Now it looks like it's viewable. This one's floating too. I bet I just didn't move it last time and just didn't notice. <laughs> that sounds like me, uh, is doing that and then just not moving it to fix it. Okay, put you there. Let's see, let's put you, oh really, no power? That's annoying, how's that? No power, still annoying, move you over. No power, what the heck? Where is our power? Oh, okay. Well, then let's do this. Let's move you all the way over here. There we go. And as soon as we get more power, we will get, uh, we'll move it and make it symmetrical. But that's how I want it for now. So then let's put this kind of right here. There we go. Perfect. So I'm trying to decide if I want to... If I want to jump into a time lapse or if I want to do this in real time, um, you know what? Let's maybe work on this in real time because what I think I'll do first is, is this, did I make this all in one group? Great. So if we do something like this and bring this out, I of course don't want it to be super straight because I do want it to be a little bit, um, a little bit interesting, not not just a, a straight line that you walk down, but if we get this this way, I might be able to, yeah, we can fix the path pretty easily because it's not really associated with anything. But this one will be the follow deer enclosure. So we'll kind of get this going around this way um, and kind of line this up so that it's not, oh, good night, I can't see a thing, thank you. Uh, so that it's not a super straight line. It's a little bit interesting. Um, and I haven't, I haven't built for the follow deer yet, have I? I don't think I have. Um, so this is going to be cool. I, uh, oh, you know what? No, I didn't build for them. All I did was put them in Pine Mountain Sanctuary, uh, our poor forgotten park, which <laughs> I'm actually hoping to jump into this weekend. We'll see. I've got some ideas on stuff to build because since I've been feeling under the weather, I really haven't been building basically at all. I've definitely still been playing video games, but I haven't done anything of like worth for uh, YouTube type stuff in the past like three weeks. It's been a while. Um, so I want to get back into uh, building some stuff and I've got lots of ideas. Uh, Pine Mountain Sanctuary being one of the things that I have ideas for. Um, that's not really a circle as much as I kind of wanted it. So maybe, maybe we take this and uh, okay, I guess we have to make it all one thing. If we do it around this way would be better, I think. Yeah, there we go. And then we can kind of make it, actually, maybe even a little more. We'll make it this way. And then we'll put rocks along this way because um, the guests will have to come around to actually see. That would be good. Um, we can take this. I want to do this very, uh, very quickly and then we'll do more decorating later because I do have to remember right now we don't have a ton of money. So I can't let my imagination and my want to build pretty things take over the fact uh, that we are still in a franchise, still needing to actually make money before we just blow it all. Um, so yeah, that's that's an important aspect of this. <laughs> very, very important. So we'll just kind of block this up with some rocks. My original idea was actually to do this with just the in-game barriers. 
Um, but that made me sad. I really don't like the in-game barriers. And so I, I very quickly decided against it, even though it might have been the better choice. Um, we're going to do it with build pieces. If this meets up, like, perfectly, it'll make me so happy. <gasps> wow. Totally unintentional that it pretty much perfectly meets up like that. Wow. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and then we want to bring in this aspect too as well because we want to keep these all kind of looking looking similar here. Let's make sure that the same, they're the right height. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, and bring this and wow, even this is going to kind of fit right in here. So if we do, if we do this kind of thing, put that in the back, that should be a decent habitat, right? It should be. I'll work on all the gradient a little bit later, but what we will do, because I'm sure the follow deer have some sort of jumping capabilities, is I don't want them to automatically escape. But hold on, I also don't want to have the outside of the habitat go down. And so we'll do this, and we'll bring this down in the front, which hopefully should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. And we'll kind of go back like this. We'll smooth it out. It's going to snow, uh, which is unfortunate because <laughs> building in the snow is a pain in the butt. Uh, but that's okay. So we will level this down a bit so that it's not poking through the concrete like that. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Let's get rid of all this annoying grass. That way it's not in my way. And we need to redo, redo this path. Um, I think it was like eight meters question mark yeah okay cool let's see let's see if we can get this pretty darn close um i don't really want you angle snapping like so no 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 like so and here comes the snow um of course you won't meet up that would be way too convenient way way too convenient so if we do this and come right around the edge and then we can meet up pretty much like that. And we'll run, yeah, we'll do that. And we'll run some, um, we'll run some, what are those called? Bumpers? No, no, they're not called bumpers. Barriers? No, what are they called? Oh my goodness. And I also forget where they are. <laughs> uh, the, the barricade thingies. What are they called? I totally forget. Um, let's see, are they in here? You guys probably know exactly where they are and you're yelling it at me. Which is a bummer, if only I could hear you. Um, here we go. Barrier, okay, oh, curb. That was, <laughs> bumper, curb is what I was thinking of. But if we take these curbs and we put them right underneath here and kind of keep guests away from the rocks that will keep them from clipping and this of course is probably very unnecessary um but i also i also just want to do it so we're going to let's put you in there great and then we'll put one more right here because i don't know i don't know if that would make a difference okay cool so they won't rock walk into those rocks which is fantastic okay Let's see, research, vet, vet research complete. More caribou stuff, perfect. Uh, what is this one? Vet surgery needed. Okay, you know what? I already told you to go away because we don't need one right now. Let's double check, let's make sure. It looks like we're look making money right now. Yes, we still are profitable, so hopefully that doesn't change um, with, our, with our follow deer. But let's get the barrier in. Um, let's put the door right here. Um, we'll put it back here, I think. We'll put it back there because I want to connect another habitat on that side. Can we just connect to that? Thank you. Connect to there, add it over here, and we'll go along this way to the front. This so is what I love about the null barriers is they don't have to be specific basically at all. <laughs> you can just run them around and as long as you get them in kind of sort of the right area, 
it works. So let's connect back up with this little door right there. Um, we need an additional rock because I'm pretty sure they can escape through that because it is a wide open hole in their enclosure. So put that there, perfect. Um, let me move my mic real quick, sorry guys. There we go, it's kind of in my way. Uh, and then we need a path. We need a path to connect it. We're gonna grab the, am I using? I'm using the purple one apparently in this in this zoo. So there we go. Um, maybe angle snap it here. Yeah, there we go, perfect. And can we? Yes, we can. All the way around, perfect. That'll be good for there. Um, it should hopefully be powered because we're connected. Oh no, it has to be the door. Forgot about that. Oh well, I guess we have to put one down, right? We were gonna have to put one down eventually. So let's go to facilities and get some power. Let's do a generator and we can actually put one back here because this is where the uh, backstage stuff is gonna be anyway. So I'm just trying to get it a little bit further away so we don't have too much overlap. But there we go, that's perfect. More vet research is complete. I bet it's on the caribou. Um, I don't know who that is, but hello. Well, oh, can I say hi to people in this one? Say hello. Oh, it still doesn't work in this one, bummer. Okay, well, oh well. So there we go, we have that all situated. Let's just very, very quickly, because of course, I just wanna get these guys in on this episode today. Let's put that there. Let's grab, I'm pretty sure they're gonna use the same, same kind of feeders and stuff like that as the reindeer. So let's just put these over here like that. And then of course we want a little bit of foliage so that it's not super blank. We'll put that there. All of this, you guys, all of it subject to change. <laughs> None of it is absolutely final whatsoever. We are just doing this to make it look like it's not just a dirt patch. Although to be fair, most hoofstock like this are just kept in like dirt rectangles. So not far off if we were to leave it dirt. Um, but I, of course, don't want to. Now for the fun part, let's go to animal trading and let's search for follow deer has damaged barriers. Well, what are our maintenance people doing? Let's do a European follow deer. Now, <gasps> look at that. I don't know if that's worth our credits though. That's pretty darn expensive. Holy crap, why are they so expensive? My goodness. Can we, oh, that was the wrong button. Can we get ones that are not so expensive? Let's go lowest price, please. Oh, that's highest price. Okay, there we go. That's more like it, but still, like these ones with conservation credits, man, that's crazy. Um, well, you're only three years old, you're a female, and you are a, uh, a white one, hmm. I kind of want our male to be the white one. How about that? Let's grab him. Uh, yes, him. He's 12 years old, but that's okay. Um, and then we'll grab a couple of these females here. So Megan, <laughs> Sarah, and Rosemary. I love it. Hopefully they can have that many um, in their little herd. I didn't even actually check. Uh, one male, 15 females. We are good. I figured as much. The the boys like to have their little herds of ladies. Um, oh, and I I forgot again. We have animals from um, from Tali Zoo as well. So let's send you guys. Why animal cannot be released in the wild? That's okay. Go in here. Send to zoo. Send to zoo. Speed up time just a little bit. So hopefully it'll actually not be raining, but then we can put you guys out there. Oh, I should have copied the ones over that have the, um, what are these called? Education, but you know, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Grab this, bring this over here because we cannot forget education in our franchise zoo. Very, very importante. Um, let's put this down, get this lined up, because you guys seem really excited to look at the deer from this location. So let's put you there and switch you before they get upset. Slow down time before anything bad happens. Perfect, there we go. And then we of course want, 
Hello. We of course want a donation bin. We'll put it right smack dab in front of you guys. Please donate to our deer. Oh, look at them. Okay, please be happy. Sweet, pretty happy. We got space right, we got uh, plants are right. A little bit more hard shelter they could use, but that's okay. For now, maybe we'll just duplicate this over here. Um, but again, I'm gonna say it over and over again. By no means is this final. It will be updated and perfected as we go along. Um, but you guys need enrichment. So let's check out what we have. Cause I imagine that uh, it's gonna be the same as the reindeer, some of the items and things like that. So let's do this little feeder thing right in the front. Let's do this little toy thing back over here. Um, that's a food, that's a toy. This is, that's bedding. I guess we can add some straw underneath here, right? So add you there, add you there. Great, that'll tell you where to sleep. We can give you a watermelon, because who doesn't like watermelon? And then maybe a little scratching post back here somewhere, question mark? Okay, maybe not, maybe right here. Why can our scratching post not go next to anything? There we go. Perfect. So that, beautiful, that solves that. Look at how happy they are. That's awesome. Okay, I wanna smooth this out a little bit because it's a little bit jagged. So smooth, 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 perfect. And then maybe some, some dirt on here so that it's not all, there we go, perfect. Awesome. So what I think, what I think we should do is I think, well, let me check these. Maybe, oh, guests still think they're underpriced. Let's go up to $8. Big money, big money. $8. How do you like that? Now they're going to complain it's too expensive. Uh, habitat has dangerous, oh, damage. I was like, habitat has dangerous barriers. Um, let's call mechanic requested. Do we have only one mechanic? Is that the problem? And is he doing research? Yeah, he's doing research. So I think another one is totally justified and needed. So let's go ahead and put you there so that you can, yes, thank you very much, so that you can double check on that. Um, but cool, I like the look of this so far, how this kind of runs into the rock wall. Uh, this is getting congested and I made the paths so wide in like anticipation for that Hopefully when they have more places to go like right now, they're obviously going right here and um, You know what? Maybe what we do is we make this part of it solid and we make another little viewing area over here to kind of Disperse them so that they don't all stop right here to look at the Arctic Fox. Maybe that's what we do because I think that could be good. We also need to figure out some um, shelter for for these guys. <laughs> they, ha I mean, they have umbrellas, but we probably should make it so that they're not like totally out in the elements all the time, and that there is some sort, some sort of cover. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. I actually haven't looked at the. Um, is it lunistic? Is that what it's called? Where's our little tab here? Um. Where's our tab here on you? Aha. Uh, Lucistic. I actually don't know how to pronounce that word. I just call them albino. So let me know down below because I'm sure many of you guys know exactly how to pronounce that and I'm doing it wrong. But look at this guy. How pretty is that? I mean, he even looks kind of cool in the rain. I love their, their antlers. Frontier did such a good job such a good job on these guys and i love the that it's not like pure white you can see like a little bit of red brown kind of poking through really cool this is our first white animal you guys because in tali zoo we didn't uh we didn't adopt just anything we wanted we kind of went with lower lower quality animals and uh i'm liking this <laughs> this is a lot of fun to be able to just adopt them right out of the workshop or right out of the um, trade center, rather. Very cool. Well, let's get out of here. And let's see, what else do we need to do? I'm feeling like I probably need to change my zoo hours too. 
I thought I had, but let's see. Let's go back to here and let's make it maybe a little bit earlier like that and then like that I think will just be will be open for a very short amount of time <laughs> a very short amount of time but that's okay um perfect I think that's good that way we have a little bit more light now what's going on low welfare did you guys have babies are you guys gonna be the type that like have babies and then all of a sudden just explode and get upset um oh I need to click on the actual enclosure itself holy cow Okay, so let's select all and then leave you two in there and move you guys to the Trade Center. Jeez, they had so many all at the same time. Uh, how many do you guys have in here, snails? Oh my goodness, these guys have been busy. Busy little bees. Okay, let's get you guys to the Trade Center as well. That's going to be a good amount of cash for us. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Let's go to storage. Let's select all of these guys. Is there anything in here that I don't want to get rid of? Nope. Let's go ahead and quick trade for $6,000. Perfect. 6,000 bucks. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then uh, you guys, oh no, I totally forgot. You guys did have name suggestions for our little reindeer here. And I totally forget what they are. There was some good ones too. There were some good ones. So I'll go back and I'll look at the name suggestions for our baby reindeer. But in the meantime as well, if you want to change any of these names here, just leave them down in the comments below. I'll kind of just go through and if I get suggestions, I'll either pick the best one if there's a ton of them or I'll just use them if there's only a few of them. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here, this episode. Uh, it's been about 30 minutes or so, so decent length episode. Apologies, it was more of a talking planning episode than it was anything else. But next time, I think, and you know what, maybe we'll do some, some work in this zoo on, um, on stream on Sunday. I think that sounds like a good idea. We can kind of uh, do some building and, and construction work on our little hoofstock area on um, on Sunday. So for those of you guys that don't know, we do stream at um, 8.30 a.m. It's anytime between 8, 8.30, 9 a.m. on Sunday morning, specific standard time, of course. And so this Sunday, let's do that. Let's jump into some Windfill Zoo. Windfill Zoo. Sorry, I keep saying my own zoo's name wrong. Um, is that a baby fox or was that just... Is that a baby fox? It is a baby fox! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, so cute! This one's interesting colored. White fluffy fur coat. So that one will be white, but you will be brown fluffy coat and you're gonna be white as well. Oh my God, they had so many babies. Are you guys still okay on space? Enrichment's not too good, but space is all right. Okay. Anyway, sorry. As I was saying, we're going to wrap this one up. So if you want to join us on stream this Sunday, I would love to see you there. And until next time, uh, again, leaving a like on the video really does help. Hitting that subscribe button, make sure that you don't miss out. I am also on TikTok, on Discord, on Twitter, on Instagram. If you are curious and want to follow me on all those other places, all the links are down below in that description box for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk at you guys in the next video. Bye.